close to a cobra as I'll ever get right here. How's it going everybody? Sean Allen here. Another day, another vlog. Today is March 15th, 2020 and it is actually sort of sunny today and not raining for once <laughs> because last week we've been getting nothing but rain. Gonna get some more stuff done today around the house. I'm actually gonna be outside. We're gonna be tearing out a couple of things and uh, well, I don't want to spoil it so let's just get this day started. I like how hey, we got blue sky over here then ugh, I got those really dark clouds out there. So what I'm going to be dealing with today is going to be a little bit of that right there. That's Cape Honeysuckle. A lot of that is coming down today. Yep, this is what we're dealing with right now. This old archway is completely destroyed because of this. Look at I mean, the stems here. Look at that. They're just so thick. Yep, this is coming down. It's all destroyed. Alrighty, here are my weapons of choice. We have the traditional small clippers. Up next we've got larger pair of clippers with handles there. We have a small version of Gimli's axe right there. And last but not least we have a smaller version of Jason's machete. I think we're going to start things off with the machete. This thing is all the way inside the orange tree. <laughs> I can actually see some light up there for once. Like a lot of that was covered up by, by these branches here. Jeez Louise. But this is the this is the problem right here. It's just all over the place. I think I got it. Yep. Here it comes. There's a nest right up there, but it hasn't been used in years. I'm going to see if I can try and pull this off. It feels like it might come off. Ah. There we go. Ah! Whew. Yeah, just toss that back here. Cool. Nice. All right, so I've taken a break from this right here, and I started digging around this one here. Dug around it so much, and it feels like it feels like it might come out if I pull on it really good. So let's see what happens. That's coming out. <laughs> It's 
basically out. There's still one root in there that's keeping it in. So there it is, the first Cape Honeysuckle plant out. Boy, oh boy. This one was a lot easier because I just figured I could just pull this one out without having to completely cut all these off first. I just thought, nah, it's better if I just pull it out. There might be one small root in there, but hey, it's out. Look at that. Nice clean pull, too. Still got a lot of branches here from the other Cape Honeysuckle here on the ground. We're going to be dealing with those later. But uh, this one here, <laughs> yeah. Here's what it looks like now without the Cape Honeysuckle there. Just a small hole. I only dug like halfway around it, so I figured if it was as loose as it was, hey, that was a good time to come out. I did accidentally cut the water pipe back here. Oops. It's kind of old though, we're going to be replacing it anyway. Now we got to deal with this stupidity, which is going to be a total nightmare because A, you got some parts of the old archway here, it's just jammed in here, and B, these are a lot thicker than the other one. And here's the progress from the driveway. It does look a little bit like we've done a little bit of damage. You can kind of see a little bit gone from the top, but still a lot that you can see right there but it's definitely different. Oh man, I haven't done anything like that in like a very long time. Anyways, it's like around two o'clock, taking a quick break, and I'll go back outside and tackle that in a little while, but whew, I haven't done anything like that <laughs> in a very long time. Like, it's really ridiculous. Ooh, I got a text message. <laughs> All right, well, it's about 7 o'clock now. I actually fell asleep a little bit because this kind of wore me out. But, yes, I am getting old. I'm no youngster, guys, okay? I mean, I'm getting the gray hairs and all. Can't really see it, but I can. Anyways, uh, it's around 7 o'clock. It's still got a little bit of sunlight out here, but I thought I'd give you a little update as to what's going on. Got a little bit of second wind here. So, what I started doing was, much like what I did with the first one, I started trying to dig a little hole around the Cape Honeysuckle here. And as you can see, there are roots, much bigger roots though, on this one than the other one that was over here. And we were able to get a lot of that Cape Honeysuckle out of the orange tree. As you can see, there's a lot more space. Got a little bit of bougainvillea right here. I gotta be really careful though, because look at these stickers here, Youch. Yeah, but as you can see, we have taken a lot of that Cape Honeysuckle out. There's still some residue in there. Like these branches here, those are going to die off because they've just been completely cut off from from the, the Borg. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, um, but yes, there are still some bits and pieces of the Cape Honeysuckle in there. In fact, if we look from the driveway, we'll probably see a, a huge difference, basically. Yeah, kind of. Not exactly. That whole top area right there, that's still Cape Honeysuckle. That's the part we want to get rid of still. But as you can see, on the top here... It's dead, like dying. So that's the part we just cut. Still got a little ways to go, but as soon as we get that one section cleared, then it's all gonna be coming down. All right, well, I've been digging for a while now, and look what I just came across. These are two big old monster roots coming directly from the Cape Honeysuckle. I thought at first they were connected here, but no, they're, they're two separate roots. You can see they're coming right from that direction there. Now this, this is not a root, that's actually our water pipe that we've been looking for for a while. So thankfully, the area where I'm digging is not going to be where the water pipe is going to be. So I can cut these two here knowing that these are okay. Then I got to care be careful of this one. So basically, anywhere where the dirt is here is okay for me to steer clear of. And yep. Alrighty, well, I can cut these now. Whew, boy, those are monster roots yikes all right guys well i am losing daylight as you can see but whew, i am gonna call it a night i've been digging at this thing for over an hour now and 
Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah, you can't see it. But there's a whole section on this thing where it's completely got all the dirt out and everything. So, oh man, I'm going to work on this tomorrow, but yikes. Alrighty, folks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. It is currently 1142 at night. And we got a lot done out there. I will say we filled that green can up significantly. So many branches out there. We will get one of those big old Cape Honeysuckle plants out. That monster one, though, is going to be a bit of a challenge. I dug up, like, at least half of the plant around it, like, in the ground, so that the roots are no longer going to be underneath the plant. But uh, it's still got a ways to go. I, I tried shoving it a little bit, and it doesn't want to budge. It's ridiculous. So, going to try and see if we can get it out tomorrow. And then who knows from there. After I was done out there, I actually came in here to play a little Nintendo 64. <laughs> I can't believe that thing still worked. I first started off with Super Mario 64. No, actually, I started off with Mario Kart 64, then Super Mario 64, and then little Donkey Kong 64. Good retro games, right? <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm off to bed, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other videos here on YouTube, as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Disney Life Video Series, and the Travel Channel Series. You can find me on Instagram. If you want to send me mail, P.O. Box address down below in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And it's Saint 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 Hollywood. Oh, I'm not in Hollywood. I'm actually at home. That, my friends, is a wrap. Good night. See you tomorrow.